We now created our icon library. So let's now create the Angular wrapper around it. So this wrapper can either be a new fresh Angular library or it can also be part of an existing component library. So usually you will probably have in your company a component library and then maybe you want to extend that component library with icons because often you will also reuse those icons inside the components that you provide in your component library. So let's start implementing this. To get started, what we need to do is first create a fresh Angular library. To do so, we are going to use Angular schematics. So we say ng-new and since our icons are called Greek mythology icons, we call the Angular wrapper ng-Greek mythology icon. So we put this ng prefix in front of it. So ng-Greek mythology icons and then since we want to create a library and not a single page application, we are going to create it initially with this minus minus create application flag, which we set to false. Let's have a look at the files that got generated by the schematics. So the schematics generated a GM icons folder with a GM icons component and an according spec file, a GM icons module, a service and an according spec file. So the module is nothing special. It's just a normal Angular module that declares the GM icons component and exports it. The service is basically just a glorified map. So we have this registry, which is a map, which is of type GM icons and the value, which is of type string. So this is basically the SVG data as a string. And the GM icons, this type, remember, was generated in the previous step when we built our Greek mythology icons library. So SVG to TS generated the GM icons type for us. We then have a register icons method, which accepts an icon or a list of icons. And those icons need to be of type GM icons. And if you remember, GM icons is a name which is of type GM icons and here you can see all the available names so this is those are all of our um, Greek mythology icons and the data which is the SVG data. So once our Angular application calls this register icons method we just loop for over all the past icons and register them to our internal registry and we register them with the name and then we use the SVG data as data. And then we expose this public get icon method, which accepts an icon name, which is again of this GM icons type. And then basically it just delivers the SVG or it just returns the SVG data. This get icon, this public get icon method is now used inside our generated component. So if you have a look at this component, we can see that it generated the selector for us and we have a default width and our component already injects the GM icons res registry, which is the registry we just saw seconds ago. The other thing that it does, it accepts a name. Again, it needs to be of type GM icons. So this will give us optimal type safety. And then it basically uses this name and checks if already an SVG icon was rendered. If yes, then it will remove it. If not, then it will continue and get go to the registry and search for the correct icon based on this name. So the reason why we store this SVG icon internally is because remember, if you want to change the icon at runtime, so for example, if you want to change the icon on button click, then we need to flip the icon. So we need to remove the old one and bring in the new one. So that's everything that is happening here. The last thing that is needed, we need to adjust our public API and export our generated files from here. So we need to export the GM icons module, the GM icons component and iTunes registry. So I already did this previously, but in your case, there will be still the standard files listed in here. To build our library, we can add a build um, prod. So this is needed because otherwise our library will be built with Ivy, which is not yet supported. So we build it with the prod configuration. So if you want to get more to know more about this, we can see that inside the icons, we have the, the prod configuration, which basically disables Ivy. And then we have the normal one, which would build with Ivy. 
So we build it, our library without Ivy. So at this point, we can change into the this directory, into Greek mythology icons. And then we can just, if we are um, logged into npm, we can just run npm publish. And this will publish our fresh Angular adapter to npm. We can then hop over to npm and check out ng Greek mythology icons. Our Angular adapter is now published and ready to be used. So in the next part, we are going to pull everything together by implementing our SPA.